While dismantling a microwave to take the transformer out for a video where I showed just how dangerous these things are and why you shouldn't really play about with these in their original high voltage form, I found this fuse on the transformer and I thought it's quite interesting because it's a high voltage fuse and it appears to have a very fine wire with a spring to pull it open. So I thought it would be quite fun to blow this fuse. Not necessarily with high voltage, because an amp is an amp, and you can use low voltage as well. So let's get this out the way. That big lump of death. And before I do that, I just want to mention something. This is the magnetron. There's the thermal cutout, uh, heat sink, filter uh, section, and then the actual exciting bit in the middle, which is complete rocket science. But I want to mention, there's a common thing that goes around, they say, oh, be careful about this, it's beryllium oxide. I just want to say it's very unlikely to be beryllium oxide because uh, that's very expensive and you might well find that in super high power devices. But in most domestic microwaves with absolutely no warning stickers or anything saying beryllium oxide, it's more likely to be aluminium oxide with a touch of chromium oxide, which gives it that distinctive pink colour. And uh, it doesn't pose the same hazards. Obviously, you should treat it with precaution anyway. But in most instances, this is not likely to be beryllium oxide. Right, on with the fuse blowing. So I'm going to set this up in a vise and I'm going to get you down close to it so you can see what happens when this blows. One moment, please. And the experiment is ready to go. So at the left-hand side of this trough is a very thin fuse wire. At the right hand side is a spring pulling a bit of tension in that. Let's blow it and see how much movement there is. Oh, that's quite a lot of movement. That was interesting. I didn't think it was going to go back that far, but that's designed to break that high voltage arc and extinguish it. So there you go. That's the inside of a high voltage fuse blowing. Quite interesting indeed.